Righto folks, this is one of my favourite little family friendly waterways that gets stocked each year with trout. I'm just going to play with the bathymetric mapping on my GPS, on my uh, Deeper Pro Plus unit. Here's the unit. There's the Hawaiian clip. Just clip that on like that. It's got the night time cover on. I don't need that now, but I'll just put it on so that I can play with it later. There yeah, it is, connected and ready to go. Right, now I'm going to go into my Deeper app. Hit Deeper. Deeper is disconnected. I've just sat that in the water now. That will automatically turn it on. Searching, found it straight away. Too shallow or too deep. So we're connected. I'm going to go into settings. Now I'm going to go into settings. Go into sonar mode. And choose onshore GPS mode. Which is pro only. Pro plus only. Which means it's only available with the Deeper Pro Plus model. So now, on what onshore GPS mode does, it creates a split screen like that. It's got the map there. This waterway is not actually listed on the map. They don't list all the smaller waterways. So what I'm going to do, because it's in deeper, because it's in onshore mode, what it's going to do is activate the GPS unit in the actual fish finder. And on the app here, as you can see here, that little red satellite, that will turn green. Okay, so I'm going to sit this over here for a minute while I cast out. Now I'm using a 7 foot long 10 to 20 pound rod. So it's a heavy rod with 50 pound braid. It's an NS1. And with this deeper on it, it will cast out a mile. And that's covered three quarters of the, of the waterway. I don't think there's very many fish in here at the moment because it hasn't been stocked. It gets stocked each year for the winter school holidays. It's taking a while to pick up the satellites. That can happen. Like all GPS units, you need to wait for it to lock into satellites. Here we go. It's just gone green. It's just gone green and you can see where I am there. I'm where the person is. That's, that's detected by the GPS in my phone. And that little black dot there, that is where the sonar unit is out there. As I reel that in, it's going to create a bathymetric map. And I'm actually quite surprised to find that that's 10 feet deep out there. And I'm even more surprised to find that it's 12 degrees. So what I'm going to do is slowly reel that in. Actually, what I might do is put the phone in the rubber mobile phone holder that I have on my fishing rod, which was supplied by Deeper. Okay. Ten feet. As I reel that in, you've gone green. If you see that flashing red, just stop, because that means you've lost your satellites. I'm going to reel that in slowly, and as it comes in, that should automatically begin to create a bathymetric map on that phone. And here it goes. Actually, I might zoom in a little bit if I can. You can see the little orange line that's creating. That is my bathymetric map. It is important to keep an eye on this little satellite symbol. Because if that goes red, that means I've lost satellites. Where it is now, it's out in the open. It should be right, unless there isn't any satellites. <laughs> Sometimes under tree cover and stuff it can be a little bit finicky, a bit like a handheld GPS. Eleven feet deep out there. Why I never realised this was such a deep little waterway. I'll reel that in now. 
as this gets closer to me, as this gets closer, what it will do, the contours will change, it'll create contours as it gets shallower, it's still 8 feet now, just out there. Now note, the GPS may not land near me on this map. The unit may not land near me, and that is because the phone GPS is not as accurate as the GPS in the unit. Phone GPSs tend to run off phone services and networks. Here we go, you can see it's just created a contour to tell me that it's much shallower just here. I wonder what it's like over there. Right, in front of those weeds, wait for it to detect satellites again. Sometimes you've got to wait again. If you've got just gone green, it's picked them up pretty quick. It's only five feet, so that's going to be a different colour on the contour map. I'll reel that in. I've got a solid satellite connection. It's seven feet just there. What I think we're going to end up seeing here because this is a man-made lake that was only dug a few years ago and then lined with clay. What I think we're going to see is not much contour, just a yellow bottom with orange sides, indicating that it drops down on the sides and then it's got a flat bottom. Probably not the best waterway to use for this purpose. Look at that now, it's dropping down into nine feet. Right, so there's my map. I haven't mapped out the whole lake. I'm only mapping this out as an example. I don't need to map the whole lake out because look at the size of it. It's like a glorified farm dam and you can walk around the edges just casting anywhere. There's no real need. This is just a demonstration of how handy this is and how well this works. This is oriented to face north. So to, do, to be like a lot of ladies, I can turn this around that way and there I am. There's the road just there, is there. So from here, I can see it's quite shallow right along the edge. It's shallow around the edges, but you can sort of see it's shallow around the edges and it dips down in the middle. Typical of most of these man-made sort of lakes with no structure other than that one tree over there. Now what is really cool is that if I wanna, when I save this, if I wanna go back in and look, at, see where that structure is, as I scroll that around, that bit there will move. But for now, that's how you make a, a that's how you create a bathymetric map of a waterway using the Deeper Pro Plus. Have a look at this. If I scroll across there, you can see my little Deeper unit moves on that map. So as it gets right back into where I was standing, and I was standing on this bank, as it gets back to where I was standing, I then cast out. You watch the next cast. Bang! It jumps down there, and that's evident by that break in the sonar. So you can see as I reel that in, you can see it coming in. All this real rough bottom is just me reeling it in really fast, causing the unit to bounce up and down. And then bang, another cast. Going along there. Now if I happen to be scrolling through here, and I see some structure on this side, on the sonar side, or a, a section of the lake that I think looks really good, then I'll know exactly where it is. Now there's a bit of structure. There's a log just there. And there it is there. So I can zoom in and out. Like I said earlier, I do know that's upside down. That structure is over there. And if you look, you can see there's a big tree laying in the water. And that's where that's highlighted by that. That's one of the best uses of any fish finder that I've seen. Even where that is there, there's a bit of green on the bottom. And that is, if I look out, I'd like for this car to go past, or an ambulance. If I look out there, it's off the end of that tree, and I dare say it's the very tips of the end of that, stru that tree structure. I can see on this map exactly where that is, because it's being picked up here on the sonar. A handy device. What a fun little toy. I'm going to have so much fun with this next year when the weather warms up and the fishing gets good again.